but they need to be told straight. That's it. There is no more license fee at the end of this period. Do what you have to do. Hi, it's me again. And in the last couple of weeks, I've been seeing loads of stories about BBC and Channel 4 and their future and what they can do, etc, etc. And I love it. I love seeing that in the papers because it means people are talking about it. It means people are talking about the TV license, about what's going to be done about it in the future, and it keeps it in the public mind. Brilliant. And I got this story today, which I thought was a little bit interesting. So let's take a look at it together and we'll have a chat as always, shall we? BBC iPlayer could merge with Channel 4 to become subscription service like Netflix, says Tory MP Julian Knight. The BBC's iPlayer could merge with Channel 4 as a subscription streaming service even if the licence fee is retained into the next decade, a Conservative MP has said. Well, before we carry on, that seems unnecessary. If they're already starting a subscription streaming service that they want us to pay for, how can they try and sell us that while also demanding we pay a television licence fee? It doesn't make any sense, really. Does it? I don't know. Julian Knight, the head of the Commons Culture, Media and Sport Committee, another person with a very long business card, told I that the corporation needs to do more to prepare for the end of the fee. Could not agree more, Mr Knight. They need to start planning it now. He acknowledged that without universal access to full fibre broadband, it's bloody cars beeping. He acknowledged that without universal access to full fibre broadband, it's politically impossible to end the levy when the BBC's charter is renewed at the end of the decade. Yeah, they are using that as a bit of a get out of jail free card at the moment for not cancelling the TV licence. They want to make sure everyone has super fast fibre so they can access other TV services properly before ending the licence fee. But I think as long as the majority can, kill the licence fee. And the people who don't have, you know, super fast broadband to be able to stream stuff, which only need two megabits to stream in non-HD, it shouldn't be a problem for most people. We get that through a phone, easy. Don't you, through a 4G connection or whatever. So I don't understand it. But as long as the majority can access it, you can scrap off the fee, can't you? And the people who can't can watch TV as usual. It's, it's an excuse. It's a poor excuse at that. He said it could move some of its services onto a pay-as-you-go streaming model, like those of Netflix and Amazon, while maintaining radio and so-called linear television under the fee. So there you go. An MP wants to charge you to watch the good stuff, which you pay out of your own pocket through choice, and they also want you to pay a television licence fee so you can watch crap. They want it both ways now. Do they? This is ridiculous. Mr Knight said, you could hive off iPlayer so that it becomes part of a subscription service and that could fold into or merge with Channel 4. That's an interesting prospect. You know, I've talked about this before and I've said it in many videos that the best way forward, I think, for the BBC is to keep BBC News, if they want to keep it, and BBC One, make them commercial, put everything else on a streaming service and sell it. So if you want to watch EastEnders at night, pay for it. But if you don't want to pay for it, you can watch it on BBC One Omnibus on a Sunday, but with ads. It's perfect. And then they can sell that service around the world, not just to UK people. They will make more money. It's simple. But this guy wants them to do that, but still also charge us the license fee. I don't know what he's been smoking. He admits that any hope of killing off the license fee when the BBC's current charter runs out at the end of the decade died when Mr Johnson was forced to abandon his pledge to get full fibre broadband into every home. Mr Knight is chivying the corporate chivying is that a word it's a new one on me Mr Knight is chivying the corporation to do more to prepare for life after the license fee especially since revenues relentlessly decline as viewers migrate to subscription services so he's got some sense there the B he's saying the BBC need to do more to fight for itself in the age of subscription services so what he's proposing is they start a subscription service and still charge you the license fee it makes no sense. You need to tell the BBC that at the end of their current charter, that's it. That's it. You survive on your own. You want to go commercial? You go commercial. You want to be a subscription service? You go and be a subscription service. And, you know, the taxpayer will help you a little bit, maybe, I hope not, like in the transitional period, but there's no more licence fee. They need just to be told that flat. And then that gives them a good few years to prepare. Maybe even just give them a token extension on the charter for a couple of years to help them with their transitional period. But they need to be told straight, that's it. There is no more license fee at the end of this period. Do what you have to do to survive. Someone needs the bottle to say that. And I was hoping it was going to be Nadine.
but she seems a bit flippy floppy now, doesn't she? And this bloke's all over the shop. So who's going to say? It's not going to be Boris, is it? So I just don't want to stuck with the license fee. It's archaic. It's old fashioned. It makes us look silly to the world. I know we're not the only country with it, but it's an absolute joke in the age of streaming to have to pay, you know, to access a public service broadcaster. Fine, but you have to pay that to access any other broadcast TV channel. So you pay for Sky or Virgin or whatever privately. If they show ads, they're taking your money and showing you ads, but you still have to pay a TV license fee to access something where they don't get any money from that. Not a penny of the license fee goes to them. How ridiculous is it? It's a ridiculous situation. And it needs sorting out. And they can't just use broadband as an excuse. Because he's saying there, keep BBC One, keep whatever. Then it doesn't matter if, you can, if you've got full fibre broadband. Does it? Because you can still watch BBC. It makes no sense. And I like seeing these stories in the paper. It makes me happy that people are talking about it and there's more stories coming out. And it keeps it, you know, rolling over and gets more people on our side of fighting the TV licence fee. So I like that. But we do need just somebody up there in charge with some blimmin' sense, don't we? It's crazy. So what do you think about this? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think this bloke's right? Do you think he's wrong? Do you have some trust in Nadine Dorries to pull all this off in the fight? Let me know in the comments below and we'll have a bit of a chat about it and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.